first thing that I want to look at or that we should look at is the felt that goes under the roof or the very first layer of the roof. This is what protects your roof. Now here's a piece of felt. As you can see, it's got nail holes in it because this was ripped off of a roof. It's 22 years old. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this felt. There's no cracking in it. It's flexible. It's not dried out. It will totally serve its purpose. There's no reason this felt wouldn't last another 22 years. You can spray this all day long and you're not getting any leakage other than what the nail hole is and that's already covered up when it's nailed onto the roof. This is an example of a very, very old piece of felt and this is what it would look like in the stages of where it would have to be replaced. See where it's cracked right here? It's giving way. See how it's cracking there? That's when you're going to get water damage. But up to that point, there is no reason in the world to replace the felt. This shingle is an example of uh, a wood-eating fungi that gets into all cedar shake shingles over time if they've not been maintained. And most shingles that haven't been cleaned for 15, 20, 25 years. As you can see, as I run my finger down it, it's real soft, it's spongy, it's starting to pit. What's happening is this fungi is working its way through the shingle and that's what deteriorates it. When we come out and clean your shingles, what we do is we remove all this fungi. We get it out of the wood so the wood can breathe again. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spray a little bit of my solution onto this particular shingle and then we're going to rinse it and we're going to give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, this is the solution we use when we come out and clean your roof. One of the things I'd like to do, spray a little bit on my hand just to give you an idea that this solution is not going to hurt you, anything around you, your property or anything. I'm going to let this set on here for a few minutes and then we're going to go ahead and rinse that off. Watch the mildew. See it just running off? See it at the bottom of the shingle? That's all the fungi. And we're getting it all off of that shingle. We usually have to let these set for about five to 10 minutes before we give them a rinse. And we get rinse them with a garden hose pressure. You never want to use high pressure on a cedar shingle, never. This is a shingle that we just cleaned a, a minute or two ago with the uh, solution that we use. Obviously, this was somewhat the before, and this would be what a new wood shingle would look like. Once this dries and is still wet because we just rinsed it, as you saw, it will have much more contrast to the newer shingle, but definitely different from the older shingle, which is what? Fungi covered. It's got moss on it. This is the uh, moss-covered shingle we typically see on the north northwest side of the house. Any part of the house that has tree overhangs, a lot of trees. What I'd like to do is give this a spray like I normally would if I was out at your home cleaning the moss off your shingle. If you watch that moss as I'm spraying this, you'll start seeing it change color. It's dying as I hit it. Yeah, you can see where we've killed the moss. It's already turning breaking, deteriorating. Right here is what we call lichen. It's a double bacteria that actually eats into the wood. We'll also be removing that. See, that's already starting to deteriorate. And this is from just having the solution on for about five minutes here. And uh, now we're gonna get ready to rinse this and let's see what it looks like after it's rinsed. Okay, so all we wanna ever use is just the power of a garden hose. Never ever use anything stronger than a garden hose. But if you'll notice, even the wood down below that I haven't totally sprayed is cleaning up also. But as you can see, there is no more moss or no more lichen.